Okay, I'm going to show you how to find the length of arc AB. Right? Come, let's take a look at this question. A and B lie on a circle. See, A and B means the point A and point B lie on the circle. It's a circle, point A and point B here. With center O. This is a center. O means center of the circle. is at this location. And radius 7 center. What is radius? Radius is the length from the center to the edge of the circle. So this is called radius. Radius. And the radius is 7 centimeter. Alright. Angle AOB is 28 degree. Angle A AOB is 28 degree. And you're asked to find, calculate the length of the minor arc AB. The minor arc AB here. Okay. So if you're asked to find the, the length of this minor arc, you have to make use of this angle, this center angle. This arc, you have to make use of this angle to do it. If you're asked to find this major arc, then you have to use a corresponding central angle that is this outside angle. Okay? But now, but now you're asked to find this arc length, AB. So you use this angle. It corresponds. Okay? Now, First, you have to write down the formula, okay? You know the arc length, the formula is theta angle, angle theta over 360 degree times 2 pi r, 2 pi r. 2 pi r means 2 times pi times radius, okay? 2 times pi times radius. So, what is this angle? This angle is equal to 28. So 28, 360 times 2. 2 pi r means 2 times pi times the radius 7. So with this, you'll be able to find this arc length. That means the arc length AB that you're finding now. Arc length AB. So from here, what you can do is that you can use calculator. Okay, you can use calculator. So you have this. 28 over 360 then times 2 times pi shift pi times pi times r r is equal to 7 so that gives you 3.42084533 so you can write this down 3.42084533 which is 3.42 you correct to three significant figure so here you can you can write up length a b is equal to 3.42 centimeter